Welcome to these reflections on Monday, January the 25th. I'm just outside the front of our house, as you can tell, uh, looking towards the building site that we've been putting up with for the last 12 months. Next door, as our neighbour eventually transforms his uh, garden into a house that he's going to be living in. I want to be introducing you to our newest member of the family, a temporary member. So I'm going to just move around so that in the background you can see Bodderwool. Well that was the name that was given uh, to the snowman that I built uh, as a result of the last video reflection that I did. It was a uh, week last Saturday, uh, so Bodderwool is now uh, about 10 days old, 9, 10 days old, something like that. Originally he was 6 foot tall and uh, it was quite a strain to get a, a huge snowball onto the top of the body uh, so that it could become his head. He's had uh, various cosmetic uh, operations since, um, mending his facial features in particular, uh, but he's only about three foot tall now. He's called Bodderwool by our grandson Levi. Uh, we're not quite sure where the name came from, whether it was his attempt to speak about abominable snowman, we're not sure, but Bodderwool is his name. Snow has featured a, a little bit in our video reflections of late. I'm thinking particularly of Kath's reflection on Saturday about leaving a thoughtful imprint. It's a very good and wholesome um, thought. And to think about transformation, not just because of next door's building site, but because today is a special day in the Christian calendar. It's remembered as the uh, climax of the week of prayer for Christian unity, yes. But particularly, January the 25th is celebrated as the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. The reading for today in Galatians chapter 1 um, is um, a reading set on its own to remember Paul's own account, or one of them in the New Testament, uh, about the way in which his life was turned back to front and upside down and inside out. It may be that transformation is something that you can particularly relate to uh, in your own life. It may be that you've had a dramatic turning around, just like St Paul. Or it may be that you, you feel that you're just gradually, slowly declining like poor old Bodderwall. Or it may be like the house next door that you're gradually becoming what you're intended to be. I encourage you on this day to think about the way in which we are in a process of becoming that which God has called us to be. All our Sunday worships at the moment are about Jesus calling disciples. Jesus turning lives around. Jesus dealing with the things that stop us from becoming that which God intends. So take this day to reflect upon the way in which God has been active in various ways in your life. Give thanks for it. And think about the change that God may be still wanting to make in you. And may God bless you in all your becoming.